Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and today I'm going to show you how I start up my boat because nobody ever showed me how to start an old two stroke outboard motor, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So, one of the first things we want to do is we want to check to see how our fuel is. You want to make sure you got enough fuel for your whole journey. I know you can't see this gauge really well, but I have three quarters of a tank of fuel here, and I have a full tank of fuel over here. My fuel has been stabilized and treated for the ethanol. So the first thing we do is we want to pump up our bulb to give ourselves some fuel pressure in the carburetor. You pump this until it starts to feel firm. It feels firm. Check your fuel lines, make sure they're fully connected and nothing's leaking. Also, this is an oil injected motor. So I'm gonna reach down here and check my oil bulb to make sure my oil bulb is fine and that I have oil. And I do have oil in my tank. It's going into the motor. Turn on our main power. So let's tip our motor down and get it where it belongs. If you're in the marina, you want to tip your motor down and get it in the water. If you're on the hard, you want to make sure you have muffs on there so that way you're getting water cooling your motor. You never start it dry. You always want to make sure there's water going through there. And the next thing we do is we get our key. We've got to put our key in the ignition. You want to make sure you're in neutral so you're not in forward or reverse. And then this is your idle speed mixture. So your idle speed, you want to bring it all the way up. And then in this particular boat, you set it right around here. Now this is an interesting part of the process right here. So I knew about setting this, but what I didn't realize is that when you turn the key on these particular motors, there's an oil injector that injects oil right into the carburetor. It works kind of like a choke, but what you're supposed to do with a cold start is you're supposed to turn the key and push it in. By pushing it in, that squirts the gas in to start up the engine. Without that, the engine a lot of times doesn't want to fire. Once the engine is warmed up, if you go to restart it, you don't push that in because you don't want to put too much gas in because that'll flood it. So, have this set, have this set. Our bulb is primed. We have oil. Got our key in the ignition. Now we crank on it a little bit, and as we're cranking on it, we uh, push the key in just a little bit. And we have ignition. And now what we'll do is we're gonna idle it down just a little bit. And then, once it's warmed up, we can push this all the way down and it'll idle until we're ready to put it in gear and head out on our way. It's also important to make sure that there is water coming out of the motor. You want to make sure that the engine is cooling itself so that there's water coming out right here. Well, since we got our boat started, we might as well take it out for a little bit of a ride. What do you say? Let's do that.
So that's it. That's all you got to know to be able to start a two-stroke engine. It seems super simple, and for some of you it may be. For me, it was very hard. I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to get it started. I had trouble restarting it once I had shut it off because I would be pushing the uh, choke in all the time whenever I went to restart it. I would flood my engine, so I'd be sitting somewhere just cranking and cranking on it. If you're used to driving modern cars, obviously all you do is turn and crank. That's probably all you have to do if you have a four-stroke newer engine that's fuel injected. But these older two-stroke engines with carburetors on them, the process is different. And that's why I wanted to make this video, to share with you what I learned about the different process for having an older two-stroke engine. So to recap, make sure your engine's got cooling. It's in the water or it's on the muffs. Make sure your fuel is good and that your tank is pumped up and primed and ready to go. Make sure your oil is either mixed, the proper mixture like 50 to 1, or your oil injection system is in place. Set your idle. Make sure your throttle is in neutral. And then as you're turning the key, push it in to squirt gas into the carburetor, which works like choking. So those are the five things. And then once you get it running, idle it back down right here, and you're good to go. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell so you get notifications as I do new videos. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great day.